human habitation on planets other than Earth was a pipe dream 20 years ago. However, today it's looking more like something that will be a reality very soon. Unlike the Artemis program's proposed lunar gateway, SpaceX is not planning to build another lunar space station in orbit around the moon, but something much better. Join us as we explore what Elon Musk's plans are for the moon. Subscribe to Liftoff and turn on the notifications feature to get more. Elon Musk said earlier in 2021 that the space industry should consider the next step beyond space stations. Reuters reported, SpaceX successfully launched and landed a Starship rocket for the first time without it exploding around the same time Elon Musk made that statement, marking a significant step forward in humanity's journey to Mars. In addition, NASA awarded SpaceX a $3 billion contract to continue developing Starship in order to return humans to the moon by 2024. Musk estimates that a Mars landing may happen as early as 2024 or 2026, with the goal of establishing a self-sustaining colony on the red planet by 2050. However, Musk's plans for a fully-fledged moon base were revealed and talked about much earlier. He teased a glimpse of his vision for space colonization on Instagram ahead of a highly anticipated presentation at the International Astronautical Congress in Australia. First, Musk shared an artist's rendering of SpaceX's interplanetary transportation vehicle at what looks to be a moon outpost dubbed Moon Base Alpha. While the Earth sparkles in the sky overhead, grey spherical domes in the distance hint at astronaut living zones. A second picture, dubbed Mars Metropolis by Musk, depicts a glass-domed city on Mars, complete with SpaceX's massive ITV colony ships bathed in glowing lamps. Opposite of Earth, Musk wrote on his Instagram post, Dawn and dusk sky are blue on Mars, and the day sky is red. We understand that many of us probably wouldn't be familiar with the very concept of a base of human habitation away from Earth. So let's take a moment to explain that a little. A moon base is a facility on the moon's surface that allows humans to conduct activities there. As a result, it differs from a lunar space station in orbit around the moon, such as the Artemis program's proposed lunar gateway. Moon bases can be for uncrewed or crewed usage, with living facilities not always included in either scenario. Obviously, SpaceX and Elon Musk were not the first to come up with a serious plan for establishing bases on the moon. The Zvezda moon base was a Soviet concept and project to build a crewed moon base as a successor to the N1L3 crewed lunar exploration program. The project was assigned to Barman's Spetsmash department by Soviet space director Korolev. Technical specs referred to the project as DLB Lunar Base, whereas official materials refer to it as Svetsda. The project's creators dubbed it Barmingrad or Barman's City unofficially. The Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, envisaged a human lunar lander in 2020 with a crewed lunar outpost by 2030, as of 2006. However, there was no money for this project as of 2006. Proposals for a human habitation plan for the moon are often backed up by desire for preservation. In 2007, Jim Burke of the International Space University in France warned that in the case of a civilization ending asteroid collision with Earth, humans should plan to preserve humanity's culture. It was suggested that a lunar Noah's Ark be built. The International Lunar Exploration Working Group may be in charge of further planning. The closest current competitor to SpaceX and their plans would be from China. China suggested that the International Lunar Research Station in 2020, which is comparable to the Moon Village, with Roscosmos and the European Space Agency expressing interest. Phase 4 of the Chinese Lunar Exploration Program will be the first step towards building the ILRS. The ILRS is anticipated to commence long-term robotic and short-term manned missions in the early 2030s. On March 9, 2021, Roscosmos and CNSA signed a Memorandum of Understanding in collaboration in the development of the ILRS. A time frame has been proposed 
that runs from the 2030s to 2045. We are currently lacking properly detailed information regarding SpaceX's own moon base, pertaining to how science is supposed to help it work. Specifics regarding the mechanisms powering life support systems, systems for breathable air, methods of construction, and other related information. However, we can attempt to glean all of it from a similar plan. In 2015, a moon village idea was revealed. In this sense, village refers to a gathering of worldwide public and private investors, scientists, engineers, universities, and businesses to debate their interests and skills in building and sharing infrastructure on the moon, and in cislunar space for various reasons. The concept's open nature would allow for any type of lunar activity, including robotic or astronaut missions, 3D printed dwellings, refueling stations, relay orbiters, astronomy, resource extraction, and even tourism. The goal is to accomplish some level of cooperation and make use of any synergies in order to establish a permanent, sustainable presence on the moon's surface, whether robotic or crude. In 2017, Jan Vorner, the European Space Agency's Director General until 2021, defined the village as an understanding, not a particular facility. Before attempting to accomplish the same on Mars, the endeavour is designed to be the first step in coming together as a species and creating relationships and know-how. The sum of the entire proposal describes this approach as a replacement for the orbiting International Space Station, which will be decommissioned in 2024. This concept has already attracted support. China has expressed interest, as has NASA, in the possible synergy it may provide with the projected Lunar Gateway. Blue Origin has also indicated early interest and volunteered to create a cargo lander with a payload capacity of 4,500 kilograms. Together with Neil Armstrong as the first two Americans to walk on the moon, Buzz Aldrin has long pushed his countrymen to work together with foreign partners to reach the moon. Ukraine's state space agency has promised to respect such plans and work to establish sustainable lunar colonization. Elon Musk shared some details via Twitter about Starship's mission to the lunar surface. Musk explained how Starship would need to undergo some different adaptations to land on the moon, differing from the Mars Starship version. We're looking on new legs, wider stance, and able to auto-level, important for leaning into wind or landing on rocky and pitted surfaces. Tell us what you think of this joint task force to create a moon base. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.